Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the day of the video Darren, how's it going today? <laughs> today we are heading on out. We're not going house hunting though. So like one of them cancelled on me and another one rung me to ask if I was still going and I was just like no. Like the most interesting of all of them has just gone so I'm not really interested anymore. And I, I, there's not much to gain from it to be honest with you. I thought about it really long and hard and I tried to get two of the better ones that I saw yesterday but they weren't answering the phone. And I'm just like, what is actually the point in going house hunting? Just so I can potentially film the inside of someone else's house to maybe use it for about five seconds in a video. You know what I mean? So I thought it's a bit of a waste, a bit of a waste of my time, waste of their time, waste of everyone's time's involved. And I thought it's best not. I can remember, oh, God damn it, this fucking hit. The earphone keeps coming out, Jesus. Um, so to be honest with you, I had a lazy morning. It's very windy if you haven't noticed. Uh, I think I'm walking into it, so you should be all right. Um, but I've had a pretty lazy morning. Uh, playing some Hearthstone, <laughs> sorted out my daily vlog. I haven't sorted out my live stream yet. By the way, am I live streaming tomorrow? You know what, I'm not actually gonna live stream tomorrow, today, well, for, today for you. I'll probably start some up again in a bit, but um, in a bit, in a couple of weeks or so. But at the moment, I haven't really got that much to talk about. The live stream so we will hold off we won't live stream just for the sake of live streaming if you know what i mean so sorry about that guys i will save the live stream until a couple of main channel videos have gone past without them i mean like i don't want my main channel just to be a place where i live stream every now and again uh, like every other week you know what i mean i do it every now and again so it's a bit more special a bit more interesting if it's every now and again isn't it so what i'm currently doing though since you're wondering is I'm heading out with my camera. I'm trying to head to Clifton Bridge, but I've gone and walked down some roads and now I don't know where I am. I thought I'd go a wiggly way. I've never seen that church before, for example, and I'm pretty close to home. Like I woke up this morning and the sun was out and it was really bright and it was good weather. It's good weather, good lighting weather, <laughs> which you know you're a YouTuber when you start thinking about how good the weather is for lighting. Um, and I was gonna film the video I'm gonna film tomorrow today, but, um, I thought about it, I'm like, I'm not fully prepared. Um, I'd need to, like, tonight is shave night. Remember when I just had a, a normal razor? I didn't have to make a big deal about having a shave. Uh, but now I do. Um, tonight's shave night, so I'll do it tomorrow. Um, so I thought, I'll head off out with my camera. And I thought, I'm looking outside the window as I left, and I'm like, uh, trying to figure out where I'm going as well at the same time, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm looked out the window, and I'm like, God, it looks warm out there. And I very nearly left without a coat on. And I thought, no, don't be stupid, I'll put a coat on. Walked outside and I'm like, I'm going back, I'm getting my scarf. <laughs> Walked about halfway down the road. No, button it up, it's bloody freezing. Um, so, that's fun. But otherwise, like I say, yeah, we're going to head off towards Clifton Bridge. Uh, get some photos of my camera. Practice with the video mode, hopefully. Just have a casual, relaxed day. I'm going to swing back via Sainsbury's because I need some peppers, uh, milk and bread. It's the downside with, I normally shop Mondays, but when I can move down here, I did a shop Friday and it fucked me up because I've run out of bread. I'm gonna run out of milk. Um, I need some cereal as well, but that's not urgent. Depends if it's on offer, basically. Or I might carry it back just because it'll be easier than carrying it back Monday. But yeah, so I've got to buy enough stuff to, I'm gonna have to slowly readjust myself, aren't I, to um, shopping on Mondays. <laughs> if I start running out of stuff on a Friday, it's not good. I've literally got nothing for sandwiches. Well, I've got beef, but I've got nothing else for sandwiches on Monday. So I need to do a bit of shopping before then, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'm heading towards that same bridge, hopefully. Um, take my camera and do some photos and stuff. Get some practice. Go see the bridge. All that good stuff. I'm legitimately lost. Um, it's good fun, though. It's good fun. Redland High School for Girls. Where's that? Redland? I know where Redland is. Don't know where this school is though. What's there? Hmm. Um, otherwise, I thought I'd be clever today and put my Nexus in my bag and then listen to music from that. Um, I think I just turned the volume up somehow. I thought that was a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. Uh, it keeps pulling. I think I'm, I'm kicking the volume button because it keeps going higher. Um, and it keeps pulling on my ears. And it's just awkward to walk with. Where am I? I don't bloody know. 
going to use my phone in a minute, it's driving me up bloody wall. found myself, it's very rare I walk this way in the daylight, so I was looking around there, I'm like, this kind of makes sense. But I, I, like, I'm used to walking down it where it's so dark where you can see it's like under the street lights and stuff. And I'm like, it looks like it makes sense to me. But now I'm on my way to Sainsbury's so. now. So, that's good. Um, right. I was thinking about going to town this weekend. Um, I kind of need my hair cut. Kind of. I don't know. I think I do. Um, but, like, otherwise it's going to be two weeks away. I've gelled it today. I've got a, head, a video to film tomorrow. So I might just go tomorrow morning, maybe. Hairdressers are closed tomorrow anyway, so YOLO 2K14 1922. We're gonna have to wait, aren't we? <laughs> I ain't got time now. I'm gonna go home, wash my hair, go and get it cut. I ain't got time for that shit. It's having a nice, relaxed day. It's like nearly one o'clock as well. I've le legit, they'll close by the time I get down there. So, I'm gonna have to wait two weeks ish. Let's go when Laura. Well, I'm not going when Laura's here. It's retarded. <sighs> right, I'm at Sainsbury's and I've remembered why I don't shop on Saturdays because it's mental. But I've just come up here and they've got this massive, like, the car park's there. They've just got stairs that go all the way up to a staff door. No signs at all. I'm like, what the hell's up there? Just staff door. What the hell? I had no idea there was a car park here like this. This is mad. Imagined you'd be able to fit something like this, just this huge expanse of grass in the middle of Bristol. It's mad. I'm surprised it's not been freaking built on. It must be like protected grounds or something. Because uh, set up some bloody houses on here, you make a bloody fortune. Bloody fortune. I've just I'm near Bristol Zoo. That's all I know. And I'm looking at some trees over there, and they look remarkably like the trees near the bridge. <laughs> That's the logic I'm using as I'm walking in this direction. But I'm having a nice day today. Ooh, hello. Um, I'm just uh, doing my own thing, wandering around. I'm not doing anything at all, really. I think it's important to relax uh, a bit. By that I mean, like, it's been a long week of work. I'm going to have another long week next week. Have a nice proper day off. Just doing whatever the hell you want to do, which is meander through a big grass field at the moment <laughs> with my camera, uh, which is good. Having fun. I know it's close. It's over there. Just muddy down here, so I might go a different way. Bridge to Wales over there as well. Just chilling. Just sat there. Well, I stood there, rocking back and forth on the spot. Oh, it's so muddy. I'll just go around the other way. Nah, let's explore. It's ruined my nice shoes. Just got a hot chocolate and there's so much cream on it, it was coming out of the top. Oh, I didn't actually want a hot chocolate, I wanted a wheat. But I had to buy hot chocolate, so it was an excuse, wasn't it? Going in, instead of going in and just like crack the loose the loo and then run. Wind is definitely something up here. Look at that. We're over the bridge. I haven't crossed it yet, have I? I'm gonna have a look on the other side because it's like bloody tall. Got some good photos as well, I think. I think. Here we go, near the middle, near the middle. It's exciting. I was literally just thinking about how many people would jump off this. Because you'll, you'll be fucking dead. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be dead. That was really cool. Um, cold as well, very windy. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to head back now. Uh, I've got to go to Sainsbury's, pick up some stuff. So, swinging back there. They haven't got bloody crunchy not on offer. They need to put it on offer. Has Tesco got it on? See what I might go and check Tesco, see if they've got Crunchy Nut on offer. Got nothing else to do, have I? So then we're gonna go back and then we're gonna reorganise some stuff. I think. We're gonna reorganise my boards and uh come digitize them, put them on an app, take them down probably, uh, and think of something else to put there or something. I don't know. Oh, it's chilling out in the evening, isn't it? I'm just heading off now to go to uh um, Tesco, see if they've got Crunchy Nut on offer. That's literally the only thing I want. I need Crunchy Nut, and I'm not paying full price for it. Fucking, who do Kellogg's think they are making my Crunchy Nut expensive? Um, so I'm gonna see if Tesco have it on offer, basically. I've just been back, dropped off me uh, shopping and stuff, just got some milk, peppers, and bread. Um, 
the old store manager from in, from Bath was there doing um, stuff, just like casually taking stuff out, like dressing down and stuff, um, brick walling, which is weird. I've been moved to stores, moved to that one though. Been downsized, downgraded. Hmm? Hey, hmm? I didn't talk to her. Fuck that. <laughs> now I know she's there. I'll make a make a point of going to the other one, um, which is what I'm going to be doing. As of well, on Monday I'm going to be going to the other one anyway. When I get my car, I'm going to the other one as well. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'm going to Tesco, trying to get that kind of stuff. Um, I've had a good day today. I've enjoyed it. I've just been doing my own thing, you know, doing what I want to do, chilling. It's been really relaxing. My feet hurt. My feet do hurt. I'm not used to <laughs> my heel. No, my heels hurt. I'm really not used to uh, Converse anymore. I normally wear just black shoes all the time, um, and I've got <laughs> obviously my black shoes have a bit of a heel on, and because I haven't got a heel, it's uncomfortable, man. I think that I've got some good photos as well today, um, so I'm going to put them put them on computer. Um, Next weekend, Laura's coming down, which is why I'm going to the other Sainsbury's bits, because they do the big chocolate cake that we like. Um, <laughs> now I've got a microwave again. Um, but since uh, Laura's coming down next weekend, we're literally doing like everything. Like Saturday, what the hell? <laughs> we're going for a meal um, in town, but otherwise nothing else, um, because she'll be getting in late again. Not too late, I don't think. When she no, she's not. That's next. When's she getting in? Just after I get back from work. We're having a relaxed Saturday though. <laughs> of doing like next to nothing except going out for a meal. I've got no plans anyway. Um, Sunday we're probably going to go shopping in town. And then Monday we're going to go to the bridge and probably Thingy Tower. Um, together. Which is no nice. Yeah. <laughs> Take some selfies. Um, which I'll force her into. <sighs> but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to Laura coming. That's why I'm not too bothered about going to town. Because... It becomes harder dragging out town with Laura if I've already been there and um, seen everything, if you know what I mean. Not dragging out. You know what I mean? When you, you know when you go out for the day and you take like an hour to walk around the shops you've already looked around. Um, and then you're like, oh, hour, let's go home. Like, that's not a day, is it? So if we don't go to town, that means I haven't looked around them and um, we can spend a little bit longer there. <sighs> oh, man. It's a bit chilly as well. It's quite chilly. Right. It's nice as well walking. I've fucking walked miles today. It's unreal. But uh, getting a good bit of walking on. It's good for you. I feel like I'm in a Crunchy Nut advert or something. <sighs> Got my four bags of Crunchy... Boxes of Crunchy Nut. The large ones. Half price. Thank you. Uh, and um, two cans of Lynx. Because that was half price too. YOLO. YOLO 2K1492. You know when I've got my... Uh, on my motor, my motor, I'm considering, well, no, no I'll, I'll tell you this story, I was considering driving down here to figure out, like, if they had any good deals, but look at this traffic. I swear to God, I see more illegal U-turns on this road than I have anywhere else in my entire life. When people come down here, they're like, oh God, not going to get down there anytime soon, and they just turn around and go home. Um, but when I get my car, there's a, uh, Asda, pretty close to Sainsbury's, um, and for like things like my branded stuff, <laughs> I'd never buy like Sainsbury's, uh, Asda normal stuff because I think Sainsbury's quality is just by far ahead of it. But if they've got a good deal on the old, um, so many cars are looking at me right now. They've been sat there for about three weeks. They bought out the brains, and they're just watching me walk past, filming myself. But yeah, since Sainsbury's and Asda are pretty close to each other, I reckon it's probably worth it just to drive into Asda before I go to Sainsbury's. Literally just check on all of their offers, see what they've got on deals. Um, and then drive over to Sainsbury's. And then I don't, and then because I've got a boot, I don't want to fuck around with like walking into Sainsbury's with Sainsbury's bags, because I always have these Sainsbury's bags. Um, and then walking into there, with stuff already in them and then people looking at me like I'm a thief you know what I mean <laughs> or the reverse of that walking in with Asda bags and then they all think I'm a I'm a tramp <laughs> oh dear um but otherwise <laughs> what a joker what a fucking what a lad but yeah so 
there's something I'm probably going to do. I'm not going to come down to Tesco just because it's too busy. It's not worth it. And it is, to be fair, quite a long way out of the way. It's the opposite direction, so... I might consider going to places like Morrison's after work if I go that way. Well, then again, I'll be taking the, one of the Lewis's home, won't I? Or two of the Lewis's down south a bit. So probably not, but you know, we shall see. I just can't wait to get my motors. Getting darker. No. No. It looks really bright on this screen. But it's not. You, I swear to God, this city drives me up the bloody wall. You know, they're so rude. I just stood to one that there's like, there's a lamppost in the middle of the road. A bus is coming. I'm not this bus here. I'm not going to go onto the road in order to go past this guy who's walking towards me. So I stand to the side with a lamppost to let him pass. Bear in mind I'm carrying these, right? So he just fucking walks past looking at his shoes like this. No problem, mate, you fucking Jesus. I swear to God, right, manners cost absolutely nothing. I don't care whereabouts you come from in the world. I do not give a shit. <sighs> Literally, right? You can come from up north. Come from up north if you want to come from up north. You can come from down south, right? But not one of you is better than the other, okay? <laughs> you be fucking nice to people and if someone lets you go you say thank you it's really not bloody hard you don't even have to say it loud you can walk past and go thanks mate or something like that Jesus oh, they're so rude in Bristol I don't know who they think they are I honestly don't know who they think they are it's like they walk around like gods like why do I do it it was in Sainsbury's this, uh, this morning when I was um, heading out not coming back and just this um this woman was walking with a trolley, right? It's one of the aisles where there's like a big pole in the way. So, you know, the kind of a really annoying aisle where the roof supports are in the middle of it. So it's basically goes single file at one point, right? So I'm coming down, she's coming down. I stand to the side behind the pillar so that she can get by. And she walks really, really slowly looking at the special K, like looking up and down, like, oh, really, really slowly, right? She stops to look at some stuff. Someone comes up behind her and says like, car's coming, and says like, oh, well, excuse me. And she just carries on walking forward ever so slowly, not moves out of the way. <sighs> doesn't say sorry, doesn't say thank you. Fuck, it really gets to me. It really bugs me sometimes. I mean, it's, it's the kind of thing where you've got to either laugh at it or it will drive you mad because you'll just get angry at how rude everyone is. So you've got to laugh in their face. You've got to make them like, make them aware of the fact that they're being rude. <laughs> like that guy. And I'm just like, it's all right, mate. Don't worry about it. As he goes past, dick. <laughs> anyway, let's get in, shall we? Let's get in. I had some pate on toast for lunch. Well, but in between like uh, going out with my camera and coming here. Um, so dinner, it's probably going to be a late dinner tonight. We're cooking um, chilli too, so I will show you my secret chilli recipe because it's absolutely delicious. Um, so I'll show you that. <laughs> Why not? Right then, ladies and gentlemen, I am back and I am currently cooking up a chilli. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's really simple. If you watch my curry one, then you know exactly how I'm going to do it. Get your mints. Chop up a load of mushrooms, as many as you goddamn want. Peppers, a massive pepper that was. We've got two chilies going into this one and then two small um, onions. Chopped up there, we've then got a packet of tomatoes, which is just uh, chopped tomatoes and a tomato and chili sauce. Yeah. When I say chili, a lot of people assume I mean chili con carne, and I don't. I just mean spicy bolognese. So you just fry up your mints. I can't set up a tripod so you can see, so fry up your mints and then when it's all brown, chuck in your, oh, hello, 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 you chuck in your mushrooms, which are over there, and then you go mushrooms, peppers, well, everything else, mushrooms, wait a bit, then that. There we are, look, everything in the pot. Job done, you let it fry a bit, let it cook down as much as possible, then you add your tomatoes and your sauce. You then take it off of a high heat, put it on a low heat, put lid on, put this onto that heat so you can boil the water up, and um, job done basically. You let it you let it simmer in its own heat. You let the spices 
come out. And there we go. Massive big great big pot of chilli. That's now warming up on that heat there. This is now on a one to keep it simmered. We're going to get a lid. And what the lid will do is keep all of the moisture and all of the spices in there. So as this slowly warms up and all of the, it starts to evaporate, it goes up and then it comes back down again, then the chilli intensifies and it's gorgeous. That's thingy, we're waiting for that so we can put the garlic bread in. Whew, job good, job. This is going well. Taking me nearly like 40 minutes, but YOLO 2K14 1922, I've got washing up to do, so may as well. Boom. It's been a long night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm waiting for my washing to finish and then I can start doing that there, but look at this. <gasps> it's here. I'm taking it down. It's too annoying, it falls down all the time. And like when I'm, I change my bed clothes as well, when you like whack this about, it wobbles and almost falls off and it's just a pain. I, to be honest with you, I don't use it enough. I don't move things around on it enough. So what I am currently doing is I am replicating it in a, in a to be fair, pretty bloody cool um, web application um, called, I've lost what tab it's in now. Where are, where are you? Here, it's called Trello. Um, and now I'm able to have the same kind of thing but work it ever so slightly differently. So I've got now a board specifically for YouTube and then I've got things like uh, the next video, this video, that's what I'm currently working on, my face is there and I've got this, 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 it's actually really really cool it's a really cool way of keeping track of projects but it's, it's great kind of scrummy, kind of agile -y. it's just not physical, you don't have the physical satisfaction of moving things over to a done pile um, but instead I'm going to do it with colour code so I'm going to change the colour code when, it, when it's done and then when it's done, I'll just wipe it off and move the next one. It's like a chain of the next videos. So it goes bam, 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 bam. It's, 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 it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know why I started this now. I've just done the YouTube line. Oh, I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have started this now, essentially. <laughs> it was a rookie mistake, I think. Um, oh, well, what can you do? Um... <laughs> oh god, I can't be asked. It's been a long ass day today. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate. And then I'm gonna fold this up, put it down there. I'm gonna do it as a tomorrow task. Um along with writing the rest of my video plan, along with video filming the video. Oh <laughs> tomorrow's gonna be a Fun day. I've been too busy today. I'm literally legitimate. Just everything's going off at once, isn't it? I'm like walking around like a nut job. I haven't even sorted out the photos from that yet. So that's a tomorrow job too. Everything's a bloody tomorrow job. Took day off. I mean, bloody, it's, I'm, it's by me in bum. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make myself a nice, lovely hot chocolate. Um, and I, second hot chocolate of the day, really. I really fancy one. Um, but I really really fancy for this my crunch you know oh yeah um right then ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching today's video it has been a nice relaxed day kind of relaxed doing stuff doing stuffs well just out and about really and i'm walking around all freaking day i was out for like six hours almost i didn't get well no five hours i was out for in total uh excluding the the, the like 10 minute break to have pate on toast <laughs> um then had dinner, didn't finish dinner till about 8 o'clock, and then since then I've been um, a demotion. Oh, that's something I didn't tell you. Someone rung my doorbell, my, my telephone here, um, and as a general proviso, no one ever rings my telephone. <laughs> no one ever, ever rings that telephone. The only people who ever do are delivery people who are bringing a delivery, and the, the real person who's supposed to take it isn't in, so he just kind of mashes all of the buttons, in which case I sit here and I ignore it. Um, or is when you're good, yeah, you're good. Um, or it's when um, someone I know is coming, which is very fucking rare, very rare. The only people who've been in here are mum, dad, Laura, and Lewis from work. And I would know every single time one of those is coming. So if the doorbell is ringing, it's a bad sign, just don't answer it, right? wrong and it wrong again then the front door knocked and I'm like oh, what the hell hello who's that who's that Rhiannon who I'm here for the uh I'm here I'm like no it's not Rhiannon 
sorry <laughs> and turns a flat downstairs downstairs was having like drinks and stuff like a bit of a, a pre-drinking sesh like a proper student um, and then I had to go outside I was doing my bins and stuff I had to go outside um, while they're all at, I was like sneaking past their win her window put stuff in the bin sneak back <laughs> I'm like please don't sit I've never I didn't even know your name was Rhiannon until this person just asked me um, thing. I should have totally bond I think she's relatively young compared like I'm not sure she might be a bit older than me like this place isn't technically a student place she's never taken anyone as young as me um, the landlady um, so I was very lucky but yeah I don't know yeah, like I say, I'm, I'm pretty tired. So I'm gonna sort this. Out. I'm gonna put this to one side. I'm gonna. I'm literally. I'm doing it as I go, kind of. I've got my YouTube and blog one set up. I just need the others set up. Um, <laughs> can't be asked. Can't be asked. Yeah. So I'm gonna put all this away. This is the problem with setting a bedtime for midnight. The problem with going to bed at midnight all the time is. When it gets to about half past eleven, I start to feel tired. That's the problem. I'm trained my body clock to get tired for twelve o'clock so I can go to sleep. Um, it screws me over at the weekend, so I'm trying to do stuff, do stuff later than twelve o'clock. I've got shit to do, and I'm just like, okay, all well, my energy's gone. Because <laughs> normally, as well, like at this point, I'll be in bed watching something on TV. Like I would have finished working by ten normally, don't I? Well, I do daily vlog. I finish working at eleven. Um, but, yeah, bloody hell, bloody hell. Right, I will catch you later, guys.